Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Straight Fire Picks. Best bets for Major League Baseball World Series Game 3 between the Houston Astros and the Atlanta Braves on Friday, October 29th, 2021. My name is Steve. We're going to have two picks here for you today. I think are great value bets for this World Series baseball game. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support in the channel. If you are new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We're trying to reach 800 subscribers here by the end of the week. Also, be sure to drop a comment down below of your favorite pick for this game. If you'd like it included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick so I know what your official pick is. Also, be sure to check out our community Discord. It's a great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets as well. So I definitely encourage you to check that out. Other than that, let's get right into our results from the previous episode. So for Comet Cappers, we didn't have any callouts in the chat. Um, so no hits on that. As far as the stream results, we went one and one. We were able to cash the over eight and a half runs. Uh, Altuve hit a home run there and it ended up seven to two. So we ended up cashing that over there, over eight and a half. And then uh, on the Eddie Rosario over one and a half basis, we did not cash this. Uh, Eddie Rosario had an over at the plate. What can you do? You know, I was hoping we'd get another bat there in the ninth inning. He would have been the next guy up, but we couldn't get a runner on. So what can you do? We're going to get after today, though. We're going to get that 2-0. So getting right into our picks. At number one, we are going with the Atlanta Braves money line here versus the Houston Astros at minus 110 odds. So we got Ian Anderson here going to the mound for the Braves. 1-0 with a 2.25 ERA, 1.08 whip so far this postseason in three starts. For his career in the postseason, he's 3-0 with a 1.47 ERA um, and seven career starts in the postseason. So obviously I like that. He's going up against Luis Garcia, the rookie here. Uh, had a great rookie season, but he is 1-1 one one with a 9.64 ERA so far this postseason with a 1.61 whip in three starts as well. Two of his three starts have been absolute duds. He has not gotten out of the third inning um, in either of those two starts. Uh, he has been pretty bad in a couple starts, like really bad. <laughs> uh, so I think this is another spot where he's going to be challenged. On the season, Garcia does not fare as well on the road either. So this is this game's in Atlanta. On the season, Garcia has posted a 5-3 and three record with a 4.24 ERA on the road versus a 2.73 ERA at home. So he is definitely not as much a road pitcher. Um, and like I said, he has not been good so far at all this postseason. I think this is another spot where just a lot, big moment, a lot of pressure on him. He's young. He's only 24 years old. Um, so I think he's going to have a hard time here heading into Atlanta. That crowd's going to be pumped up. Um, he's going to have to find a way to control his emotions. I think it's just going to be too hard for him, honestly. Uh, a lot like Frank Valdez, how he struggles at home. Garcia, in the same way, he struggles on the road. Um, and I expect more of that here. Anderson, like I said, with the with the experience, you know, he's pitched in you know a lot of big games, obviously. Seven postseason games already for Ian Anderson, so I love that. Braves, you know, resiliency, once again, going to be tested here. No Charlie Morton the rest of the series as he broke his leg. But have they been in this spot before? Absolutely. They had a losing record at the All-Star break with Acuna going down. And uh, look at the run they made. Look at where they are without their best player. And they're going to be tested again here, right? No Charlie Morton now either. Um, I found it phenomenal that Charlie Mor Morton pitched, what, 16 or 19 pitches? Recorded three outs with a broken leg. That is absolutely incredible. That was just you know, reading about that today, I just found that absolutely amazing. So that's the way this Braves team is, right? And I expect more of that here in Game 3, coming back home. They took one in Houston. That's all they had to do. They deserve the same respect that the Astros get as far as getting hot in a series, taking a game. Uh, they took a game in Houston. I expect them to come back home and win this game. So I love it there for our number one pick. Braves money line here versus the Astros at minus 110 odds. Okay, and at number two, we are going with Ian Anderson over three and a half strikeouts here for the Braves at minus 110 odds. So this has a lot to do with what we just talked about here with the Braves and Anderson. He's been very good in the postseason, obviously. He's cashed this line in two of three of his postseason games so far uh, this postseason. And one of those games was only four innings pitch. So I'm definitely anticipating him getting deeper than the fourth inning uh, just due to Morton's injury, honestly. I think... 
you got to keep in mind the Braves are going to have to use the bullpen a lot later in this series. So they're definitely going to want to get some innings here out of Anderson. Anderson really is their second best pitcher remaining outside of Max Freed. So they're going to want to get some innings out of him. They're going to need to get innings out of him. They can't afford to go to the bullpen early. They're going to have a bullpen game later on in this series. They need to save that bullpen a little bit. Now, of course, if he struggles a lot, they're still going to take him out. They still want to win this game. Um, they're going to do what they got to do. I just feel like his leash is going to be a little bit longer than it normally would. Um, you know, on the season, Anderson's had a lot of success versus this line specifically. In regular season starts, he's 20 out of 24 to this line. Now, of course, this is the postseason, so it is different, but it just shows you that he is a pretty solid strikeout pitcher. Uh, this postseason, the Astros, you know, can they strike out? They can, especially in the postseason. Now, normally I'd say the Astros have very disciplined bats. They are very good at the plate. But, you know, so far this postseason, 106 strikeouts in 12 games. That's an average of about nine strikeouts a game, which really isn't that bad, but that's a strikeout per inning, right? So, if Anderson goes four innings, how many strikeouts are we going to have? Hopefully four. Um, but I'm anticipating going longer than that. I think he could get into the six. And if he gets that far, I think he definitely cashes this. Um, Astros in the World Series in particular also have 22 strikeouts in the first two games. 11 per game in the first two games, which is a little high. Uh, so I like that as well. If we can maintain that same type of a clip in this game, you know, with the momentum here coming at home here for the Braves, I'd love three and a half strikeouts. That's nothing. Honestly, I think uh, Anderson's definitely capable of cashing that. One of my more favorite-looking lines so far, uh, strikeout lines that I've seen, so that's why I hopped on this one. So take it there for your number two pick. Ian Anderson, over three and a half strikeouts here for the Braves at minus 110 odds. Okay, and that's going to do it for our picks for today. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We're trying to reach 800 subscribers here by the end of the week, so I appreciate your help out with that. Other than that, be sure to also drop a bet down below in the comment section of your favorite pick for this game. If you'd like it included in our comment capper section, just put a star or an asterisk next to that pick. So I know it's your official pick. And uh, also be sure to check out our community Discord. It's a great place to connect with our community and to grow with our community, get new ideas for bets. A lot of great stuff happening in there. So I highly encourage you to check that out. Other than that, it's going to do it for me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you next time. Peace out.